I think we lived here about a year and we got Tula. Tula was our first dog. Not mine and Sarah's first dog. We both... It was our first dog together, but yeah. growing up we had dogs. Um, as our first family. Tula was our first family dog. We got her from the uh, Humane Society. And let, yeah, she's like a lab mixed with like a, some kind of a hound or something like that. She's a pretty sweet dog. One thing about Tula, she's got a really good nose. I've, I've noticed, oh, yeah. noticed she that. Oh yeah, sniff anything out. Yeah, her nose is way better than Sadie's, but, mm -hmm. but Tula has zero interest in playing fetch or going and fetching anything. She's not very dog-like. She's not very dog-like. She does like to play, I don't even know how to describe this, it'd be like chase. Like if I pretend to chase her, she gets, then she'll take off like a bolt of lightning all the way across and around the house and come rushing back and... She just likes to be around you at all times. Yeah, she does Especially like to be around. Kids. She likes to be around all the, all, all the time. She likes to be around you. If you're watching TV, she wants to be right there with you. Um, if you're in the kitchen, she's right there with you. If you go upstairs, she's right there with you. So she definitely likes to be she's around. She's a tripping hazard. She is a tripping Yeah, I fell down the stairs. So yeah. she's a tripping hazard for sure. About a year and a half after we got Tula, um, we ended up getting Sadie um, the same way. She was at the Humane Society and we got her and she is definitely a lab she's a mix but but she's got more lab in her than anything else she's she got the typical labrador uh wiggle uh, actually i've never seen a lab with as much wiggle she has as she's like got beyond happy tail yeah when she wiggles her tail her whole butt moves. <laughs> her whole body <laughs> moves when, it's yeah. ridiculous, really. <laughs> and she loves to play fetch. She's a gentle giant. She doesn't yep. really understand her size, but she is. Right. She She's always excited to see you. Always. And usually pees everywhere. Yeah. You're probably getting peed on. So, yeah, we, we've had them now for a couple of years. They're great with the kids. They're decent with uh, the animals. Tula's really good with the animals. Tula. Sadie is your wild card. Yeah. Some days she's good. Some days you're going to have to pull her off a chicken. Yep. Yeah, Tula's pretty good. They both have a terrible habit of eating uh, cracked corn, which leads to bathroom problems. In the middle of the night. Sadie is extremely apprehensive um, about things, but she, uh, she loves to be around people. She just gets a little bit too excited for it. But that she's way. very sweet. Yeah, she's very sweet and gentle. and. But she's also the dog that will get lost chasing a butterfly. That's probably... She's a bit of an airhead. <laughs> yep, that's, that's probably the best way to describe her. Both of them are pretty good as far as guard dogs are concerned. They they They'll definitely alert you if someone's here. Yep, they, the, the second anybody is even close to being on the property, they'll, they'll let you know that somebody's... Uh, somebody's around that maybe shouldn't be or should be checked out with the poor Amazon and UPS drivers <laughs> that come to the house probably are used to getting barked at by now. But Now on the other side of the uh, dog situation, um, this is a first for me. I've never owned cats. Either did I. Growing up. Yeah, I was actually terrified of cats. Yeah, we just never had them because I grew up in a family where if we had dogs, it was because it was for hunting. Yeah. And cats, you can't take a cat out in a pheasant field with you. And I just grew up in a house where we had every animal but a cat for some reason. That's true. We so, did, kind of. It was a feral cat that was up at um, my parents' house. And it was just a really friendly feral cat. It had some injuries, so we brought it in and to the vet and got him fixed up and then brought him home. and. Yeah, and he was, was an a, awesome cat. Yeah, Boots named him Boots. Yep, had these white white feet and uh, had him around for. It was a year. It was almost was, a year. Was it almost a year? Mm -hmm. And one day he just was no longer around, and which I think is part of the feral cat thing. He can't, right, you can't make a feral cat a pet. And um, if you're Boots, if you're out there, we miss you. Yeah, uh, come back. You can come. Couple play any time until after that we ended up getting um a kitten um deuce which you named deuce. deuce which he actually doesn't live up to his name um he's actually a sweetheart he's a very good cat too yeah. he is a purr machine 
Yeah, I've he I've never is. met an animal that loves being petted so much. He, he, it's, it's unbelievable how much he purrs. Yeah, if you get within like two feet of him, like you're pretending to start petting him, he's already purring. Sarah wanted another one because we, by then, had fallen in love with cats and found out how good, actually, mousing machines. Yeah, very good for the bar. Originally, I kind of wanted one in the house, but it actually works out nice to have them in the barn because they are great hunters. They get along great with the chickens and the ducks. Right. Um, and the dogs. They and get, the dogs, they, yep. They've done okay with the dogs, too, but... Deuce does great with the dogs. Right. They are they get along just fine. But, yeah, we, we ended up getting another one uh, uh, last fall, um, a female. She was all right, too. Uh, she her personality was a little bit different than the other than than the other cats that we've had and so that was kind of an she adjustment. She was more of a loner. She wasn't yep. she didn't really like to be around people. Right. Which is fine. Yep. She definitely kind of had her own area that that she liked to hang out in. And she didn't like the dogs. And she didn't like she didn't like the dogs. She would um, chase them around the yard and kind of terrorize them. But she got along with Deuce yeah. just fine. Yeah. And uh, we had her until this spring and she ended up getting hit by a car, which was pretty awful. The amount of mice that we had in the barn prior to having cats was ridiculous. Uh, anybody who has a barn where you have other animals, I would highly recommend getting yourselves a barn cat, not only for the own, your own personal enjoyment of having that cat, but they make a world of difference as far as keeping the mice away or keeping the mice population at bay. Um, out there and they're pretty funny they're way different than any other animal i've ever had around and and uh there's some pretty good enjoyment that comes from having them oh for sure it's my personal failure because she got hit by a car ours you didn't hit her with the car but like, i know but i can't leave her locked up in the barn all day well no i don't know i'd like to get more yeah like tomorrow